Hey everybody, good afternoon. Hope everybody has a good time at the Trump rally. I want to ask you guys a quick question. Is Trump your president and is Jesus Christ Lord? Lord. Everybody say yeah. Lord. All right. All right, who wants to save the cats and the dogs from being eaten? Say yeah. <laughs> I got four cats. Four cats? I love I have an orange cat too. You have, I don't, you have, I don't, you have an orange cat? I have an orange cat, yeah. How often do you feed your cat? <laughs> How often do you feed that cat? Well, I, I'm not feeding it every day. Every day. Wet food or dry food? A dry food. You ever try wet food? <laughs> yeah, I have. I'm talking about wet food. No, 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 I haven't. No, I'm here to talk about Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. Huh? Love you love Jesus? Jesus? I'm a man of God. Are you? Well, God. why are you asking questions about vaginas and stuff? Because I love vaginas. Are you married? Am I who? Are you married? Finger said what? To a woman? No. Okay. Then you're probably living... I'm Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm in my Playboy era, though, you know? Yeah, but God doesn't want you to be in a Playboy yeah, so era. Let a player play. Huh? Let a PIMP play, you know? So if you died today, would you go to heaven? Absolutely, yeah. How do you get to heaven? Uh, I'm flying, bro. I'll fly the first class. <laughs> You're a funny comedian. I love you, man. All right. Wait, turn to Jesus, okay? Here, course, I got a gift for you. It's a million dollars. Read the back. Yeah. See this guy here? <laughs> I mean, he's a good man, you know? Hey, what's your... Yeah. Well, God... No, no one is good, but God no, makes no, us. No, my God makes us holy. You're good, you're you're yeah, thank God bless you. No, I'm not recording. When you're editing this, oh, all right, I was gonna be like, no. Uh, <laughs> no. What channel? Are you on the channel? Frankie on the street. I've heard of you. Are you a conservative? I'm just Frankie. On the, I'm vegan. Oh, you no know, conservative. Like, are you uh, like a pro I'm just, Trump guy? I'm just vegan. Oh, okay, Frankie on the street. Yeah, I don't eat meat. I'll check you I out. I haven't had a steak for in like five years. Really? Yeah. I think steak steak would help you a lot. I <laughs> okay, I have a channel. All right, right, God bless you. Yeah, what's your channel? What's your channel? Friendly Evangelist. 11,000 subscribers. 11,000 yeah, subscribers. On YouTube. Yeah. Well, it's, praise God. It's God, right, God help me. Care, God bless. So, so, guys, so I know we all want to save America here. And it's, you know, I'm a Ukrainian immigrant. Uh, I immigrated from Ukraine 20 years ago. And I speak I speak Russian. I speak Russian. I don't know if anyone here is from Ukraine or Russia. Но я верю в Иисуса Христа, Иисус Христос, Он Господь всего мира, Иисус Христос Господь Америки, Иисус Христос Господь всего мира. Я хочу рассказать о том, что Иисус Христос сделал для нас. So I was speaking a little Russian because I want to. I'm a Ukrainian immigrant here. I love the United States. I came here uh, about 20 years ago, and I love what America has done for my life. Слава Богу, тоже. So I love what, what God has done in mean, me being an immigrant here in America. And there's many, there's many immigrants here in the United States. And, you know, America is an amazing nation that gives a lot of freedoms. And we have the Bill of Rights, where most countries in the world don't have the Bill of Rights. America is the only nation that has the freedoms, that offers us freedom of speech, um, having guns, which New York City bans, and having other rights that other countries don't, don't give. And you know what? America was actually a very unique nation. It began, you know, 1776, we all know the history of the United States, but there was a revival that happened in the United States before the 1700s, or during the 1700s, and it was run by Jonathan Wesley and other preachers, and they called the American colonists to repent and come back to Jesus Christ. Because before the revolution, the American Revolution happened, uh, people were not living for the Lord. They were not living for Jesus Christ. And you know what? And the revolution happened during that revival. And so we're here in 2024 and Jesus is still just as important as he was in 1776 when America became an, a separate nation from Britain. And so today is a revolution. It's a revolution that involves uh, Donald Trump and coming back to making America great again. And it's a very important thing to do, to, to come back to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. But I want to tell you guys something that's more important than the Constitution. It's having a relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, when I came to the United States from Ukraine, I, uh, I experienced an encounter with God that changed my life forever. God bless you. And uh, that encounter with Jesus made me a totally different person. Even though America offered me many, many freedoms and many rights that I couldn't find in Ukraine, the thing is that more important that happened here is that I gave my life to Jesus and Jesus Christ completely forgave my sins and turned me around. And so that's what I'm, I'm eternally grateful for the United States and how God used America to bring me to Jesus Christ. But I want to ask you guys, are you guys right with God? Because 
even if Donald Trump gets elected as president, and I pray that he does gets, get elected, and a deep state doesn't steal the election, and the CIA doesn't assassinate him as they tried three times already, the thing is, even if Trump becomes president, is it really going to fix the nation? Yes, we might have fracking again. Yes, we might have freedom of speech on X and Twitter. Elon Musk, you know, might give us all freedom of speech, but it's really God that gives us freedom of speech, not Elon Musk. Yes, we might have more gun rights. Yes, we might have less police state. Yes, we might have less proxy wars. You know, I was in the Ukrainian war zone. I saw the carnage. I experienced what was going on there a few years back. And I'm here to tell you that America is at a precipice of civil war. And that's what Donald Trump has also said, is that we're at a precipice of World War III and civil war if we don't come back to Jesus Christ. Now, the thing is, is that we love, I love the Constitution. I love the rule of law because that's what Christians should do, support the rule of law. But at the same time, God wants us to have a revolution in our hearts. Because if we die today and we love Donald Trump and we don't have Jesus, we're going to go to hell. So the thing is, is that just because you're a conservative or a liberal or Democrat or Republican, it doesn't mean that you're right with Jesus Christ. And so Jesus Christ, hey, God bless you, man. The Lord is my shepherd. I like that shirt. God bless you. God bless you, too. So the thing is, is that Jesus wants to be Lord of your life, everyone's life, because every life is precious to God. You know, I love you guys. I don't know anybody here. I met some people, uh, a famous conservative. I met him uh, here. He left. But the thing is, is that most people, I don't know anybody, but I love you guys because you are created in the image of God and you have a worth that comes from, from God himself. And so Jesus Christ wants to make himself known to you today. Jesus Christ is real. Jesus Christ died 2,000 years ago uh, to save us from our sins. Because, oh, thank you. Hey, oh, thank you. Oh, I've been there last weekend. Oh, yeah, I really I like your message. Thank you. I appreciate it. I would like to video you, but the sun is blocking. Oh, okay. So if you could face this. So I just don't want the cops to shut me yeah, down. Because they shut me down before. So I'm just trying oh, to be. Okay. Yeah. But you can a little bit. A little yeah, because the sun is like. Okay. Too bright. Uh, so the thing is, is that, ladies and gentlemen, we all need Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible says that we're all born. We're all born with a sin nature, and because we have a sin nature, we want to be our own gods. We have all sinned against God. We have all sinned against a holy God, and because of that, we are all guilty before before God. And so, we need forgiveness of our sins. And so, God became a human being in Jesus Christ two thousand years ago. And he came to die on the cross, not because he, he wanted to, but because he, he, he loved us so much that God actually stepped into our humanity. And the only way that God's justice could, be, could have been satisfied and his love was for God himself to pay the penalty for our sin. So Jesus Christ, who was fully God and fully man, he chose to be in our place, to die on a horrible cross that we have here, representing the death of Jesus so that we could have life. And so, you know, I'm here to talk about that kind of life that can come through Jesus Christ. What? Jesus was Middle Eastern. God, God doesn't. God created. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I speak Russian, so Jesus. Jesus. We know the truth. The true Messiah is coming any moment. His name is Yahusha. Well, whatever. We, yeah, I mean. Jerusalem, Africa, South Africa, is Jerusalem. I don't know. I, are you a black Hebrew Israelite? Yes, we know the truth. Yeah, no, you guys are a cult. <laughs> the sun just no, you're a cult. Uh -huh. Okay. So anyway, so the thing is, is that it's not about legalism. Knowing God is not about religion. I'm not here talking about any church. I'm not here to represent any church. I'm here to talk about having a relationship with Jesus Christ. Because everybody is going to stand one day before God, and we will all have to give an account for all of our sins. So if you've ever lied, if you've ever stolen, if you've ever... Uh, use God's name in vain. If you've ever looked We're at, good. if you look, looked at a woman to lust after, it's for you, buddy. It's about Jesus. It was. If you looked at a woman or a man to lust after them, you've committed adultery in your heart. I've done that. Everybody else has probably done that. And so, in God's sight, we are liars, thieves, adulterers at heart, and we are blasphemers. 
So we are all guilty before God. We need Jesus Christ to save us and forgive us for our un unrighteousness. So Jesus Christ is calling everybody today, every single Trump supporter, even the counter protesters here and the cops. He's calling everybody to come to Jesus and to repent and to turn to him and him alone. Because one day we're all going to die. One day, America, it will, it will perish because every nation after 250 years collapses onto itself. And we're almost at that 250 year mark. Now, I don't want America to collapse. I don't want America to perish. I think it's the greatest nation on earth next to ancient Israel. But the thing is, is that America it has not given to God what is due. God blessed the United States when he formed us in 1776, but we have turned away from God and we have turned to pornography. We have turned to human trafficking. We have turned to Pornhub. We have turned to Tinder. We have turned to uh, transgenderism. We have turned to pedophilia. We have turned to gay marriage. We have turned to transgenderism. We have turned to uh, giving hormones and puberty blockers to men to make them women. We turned women into men or that's not possible but we we try to with our hormone blockers so the thing is is that we have completely become a satanic a satanic nation not that god doesn't love us but our government is completely satanic and 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 people's lives today they are living for the devil they're not living for jesus christ and i'm here to tell you that there is a god and he will hold all of us accountable for our sin many people are here to celebrate trump and go to one of the biggest rallies in new york city and it looks pretty awesome so many different people from different backgrounds and different states and different countries even and I want to tell you guys, the most important thing that you can ever do in this world is to give your life to Jesus Christ. That's the most right thing that we can ever do in this life is to make Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Because, because we were all created by God, we were, we were all given a conscience, and one day we will all die and answer to this God for everything that we have done on this earth. Whether we have been good or whether we have been bad, we will have to answer for that to God. And so because we all have a conscience, because God created us to have a personal relationship with Him and not to be robots or to be slaves, God commands everybody to repent of their sins and to, and to put their faith in Jesus Christ, the only Savior that can save us from the judgment that's to come. You know, we all, we all want to celebrate the rebirth of America with Donald Trump, but the most important thing is, is we need to have a born-again experience in your own heart. Because even if, even if this country gets another four years of mercy and grace, it doesn't mean... Trump have mercy and grace. I'm not talking about Trump, I'm saying... You just said Trump, mercy and grace under Trump. So you, miss, you missed my whole sentence. I said that even if this country gets mercy and grace... You said four more years of mercy and grace. Those were your little words. Yeah, because Trump doesn't want to do abortion proxy wars and uh, those things are so, so my you, so you said he didn't say it, but No, God can it. use Trump. I'm not Trump is not a Christian, but God can use Trump. So why don't you say that? Because you're saying Trump is like this big Christian guy. No, I didn't say he's a Christian. You just, I know you said he's not. I so, said but he's you're not. Implying that he but I'm be, saying God is that He's like a Christ God, proxy. I won't say he's a proxy. He's not some messiah. I'm saying that I'm saying that he's a better choice from uh, Kamala. Like Kamala hates God, hates Jesus, loves abortion. And, and what was so does Trump not do those? Trump, things? Trump. You know, divorce and remarriage is, is adultery, right? I, well, yeah, but there's so different stipulations. Say, no, there's not. No, because I had Christian friends who divorced and remarried. We're not under the mosaic, uh, the Jewish law. Uh, New Testament said. I know. New Testament but says. But there's there's also other worse and the Corinthians that say that you can remarry if you feel if, if you feel like God does lead you to marry a, a certain person like you can marry an unbeliever or if someone doesn't want to be you know uh, married to you they have every right to leave so there's other verses that you have to apply you're not held to want to like oh you can't ever remarry it's not Jesus does not talk about to everybody every Gentile in the world you can't remarry if the marriage doesn't work out now marriage should be for life i got married five months ago and i'm planning to stay married to my wife for the rest of my life but the thing is is that because of our hardness of hearts god allows for divorce it's not his perfect plan but god doesn't hold us to some legalistic standard where 
we can't ever remarry to another right person that God brings to us if the other spouse doesn't want to be married to us. So if God leads you to commit fornication, no, no, fornication. If God leads you down that no, way, no, God's not going to lead you to fornication. Then how fornication do you have sexual is sexual urges? immorality. Well, everything comes I, from God, doesn't it? I mean, I had sexual urges, but I had to surrender it to God until I got married. So you have to do that too. But if you, but my point is that if God, how do you know if God's leading you to get married to someone? Well, you, Same thing as God leading you to well, have sex with someone. Who's are you are you born again Christian? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, so you need to get right with God, and you need to. Why do you answer the question? No, it's not like you really no, because know what you're talking be, about. no, because that question is actually a subdivision of the most important question, which is you need to be born again. Because no, nothing, anyone can nothing call is, themselves born again. And I know. Live in that way. So I know. That's why I challenge again, people. Yeah, exactly. So if you call yourself born again, but you're forced to marry not just once but twice, you're living in adultery. You're not. You're not. So why are you even asking this question? You seem very young guy. So yeah. you, I don't. Have you been married? No, I haven't. So why are you even asking? This? Because you're promoting Trump as this quasi messiah. I did not promote him as quasi messiah at all. I sure said that. Are. I said, said that out of twelve said, choices, he's the best one. But he's not a messiah. I mean, it doesn't seem much of a difference. It seems no, like we as well just have no. a theocracy instead of. No, we're not a theocracy. We're a constitutional republic. Exactly. So, so why is like what makes one extremely imperfect choice? Versus because one? Kamala hates no. Christians at a rally. She said somebody said Jesus is Lord, and she said leave, go to the other rally. So she's a satanic witch, and she committed. Uh, she cheated on her husband, uh, Willie Nelson. And uh, or he cheated on her. He beat up some other woman. Trump cheated not on Kamala. both of his wives. I know he's not. He's not perfect either. So, he needs to repent too. But out of the both choices that we have, so, so, he's the best one. It seems like you're focusing but I'm not. On, I'm talking about Trump anymore. I'm, talk, I'm gonna talk you said about. Trump then, well, you said you specifically said Trump. I know because I'm using because it's a Trump rally. So I'm talking about Trump, but I'm using it no, in but context you of the said Trump has like him. grace and mercy for four years. No, but I said God. Lifestyle, currently living a lifestyle that is incomplete. With, uh, with a life of adultery. I don't know what Trump's personal life whether he repented of his uh, past. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because if you commit, if you get but remarried, I'm not voting for. Hold on, I'm not voting for a pastor. I'm voting for a president. So that's not exactly. my point. Exactly. If you're voting to put someone in power, look, who's living in adultery, I'm going to continue voting for sin. Look, I'm not approving of any adultery. He's living in. A, yes, you are. You're approving of remarriage. That's no. Adultery. I said He's that there's, there's different contexts when people can get remarried. That's but God has to lead you to the right person because some people get remarried. Uh, like because they they don't Trump mind. Trump got remarried twice. Okay, which but means that he was led to the right So what are boy? What are you? The, you, you hate Trump or you're a Democrat or what? Oh well, yeah, I'm, I'm a Democrat. Okay. Sure. So I don't want to talk about my fault. I want to talk about the gospel. Man. So, but so you're gonna leave Trump out of this because you know Trump doesn't live a very I Christian can, life. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna be led by God. And Kamala's a bitch. What's she's a witch. A witch. She's she's specifically, what makes her a witch? She loves abortion up to nine months. No, she doesn't. Specifically, what makes her a witch? Like what specifically? Be, because is she she tackles like. Like a she has a demonic spirit in her life. How does make someone laugh? No, because so you don't understand. You don't, you don't have spiritual eyes. So anyway, so so God God is calling everybody to repent and come to Him because we all have a certain point of which we live, and then we will die and, and face God on Judgment Day. And so the Bible says that everyone has sinned. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Is it okay for a man to marry a divorced woman? I, I was just talking to him about that. Yeah, I heard. I wanted to ask your opinion on it. Why? why are, you, are you trying to trap me? No. Are you trapping me in something? No, my parents. Yeah, I think. Are you, yeah. so are you being honest? Yes. My mom got married at the young. They tried to have kids. They couldn't have kids. So he um, left her. So my mom was divorced. Um, my, uh, my dad wasn't a Christian. Fell in love with her. Um, they went to church. The church wouldn't let them remarry. Okay. And so eventually uh, they decided to live together, uh, got pregnant, and he said, I'm going to marry her anyway. He, okay. they, he's now a Christian. He actually became a Christian before he, uh, he went to sleep with my mom. And uh, then they got married and they've had six kids on the second year. Oh, six. Okay. okay. But according to the, the Bible, it's like it says it's a sin. Uh, to marry? Yeah, to marry. Marriage. Well, I was talking to him about that. that it's hard, hard to hear. But the thing is, is that there's also context when it comes to that because I had a friend who uh, also got remarried, but uh, his wife did not want to be 
uh, married to him anymore, so she's the one who filed for divorce. So, and when you become a Christian, you're under grace, not under law. Yeah. So the thing is, is that uh, if your parents, or like if your parents committed sin uh, with another woman yeah. and they got remarried to the woman that they cheat or slept with or something, yeah. it doesn't mean that you have to immediately divorce. No, because what's done is done. But God does want us to repent of past sin. I understand that. So it doesn't mean that you can't remarry. Be an because he remarried another person. Yeah, like Jesus said, if a if a man marries a divorced woman, they, he is committing adultery. Right, but that was to the Jewish people themselves. It wasn't like to all the Gentiles, because there was because when the Gentiles, the non-Jewish, became Christians, okay. they they weren't all had to be under the Jewish like because oh sorry, I'm not I'm not saying I'm picking and choosing. I'm just saying that the context for which Jesus was speaking, he was speaking to a very Jewish crowd okay. that remarried yep. uh, because the Pharisees, like the religious Jews, they gave a certificate of divorce to a woman yep. that they just thought wasn't hot enough, you know, or like she wasn't pretty enough, so they divorced her and married another. So, it, he, if you understand the context of what Jesus was saying, he was saying, don't just get divorced for stupid reasons. Yeah. That, that, that would be a sin. So, you're saying what Jesus said there doesn't apply today? Well, no, it's there's context. There's there's yeah. application, but it's, it's context. So, it doesn't apply today? No. There, it parts, says, whosoever, except for immorality. So what's your bar for immorality? A sex outside of marriage or cheating on your spouse. That is sin. So what if you... So we still have to... Yes, you, you repent from that, but if, if I, I met somebody who got... So wait, what if you marry the person you cheated on? Like your mistress, when you marry your mistress? I mean... And what if this, you marry them then twice? Then it's between you and God, because I don't think God would have so you divorced So how can you continue the conversation with him? Yeah. Yeah. But, Thanks but, for your answer. Though. Are you a Christian? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I hate Trump. Like, uh, okay. I hate the dishonesty and the lies. Like, I don't think Cameron was a good person, but no, no, I just can't no. trust the con man, like, the bullshit so much. Well, I don't... I don't, I don't think Trump's going to save America either. I think only Jesus, because he's not perfect. Yeah. He curses, he swears, you know, he's not perfect. Yeah. So. so, I mean, I, I think he's the better choice from Kamala, because Kamala supports abortion on demand. So it's not a Christian choice Kamala is way far, like, communist. I'm from Ukraine. I'm yeah. from Ukraine, so I I don't want communism in this country. So I'll do my best. That's my not part. communism. No, but there, there's a lot of part. Kamala, well, she supports illegal immigration, 20 million people. She was she let in 20 million people. People were buying, so that's that's yeah, wicked. Leave you there. I'm not okay. But, but, I guess, but turn to Jesus, sir. Right? So the thing is, is that, ladies and gentlemen, we all need Jesus Christ. All of us one day are going to die, and we're all going to face God on Judgment Day. And we all need to turn to Jesus and repent from our of our sins, because God said in the Bible it says that there will come a day when we will be judged for our sins, and so it's very important to know Jesus and to repent and to turn away from every wicked thing that we follow, whether it's pornography, whether it's lying, whether it's, it's cheating, whether it's blasphemy, whatever it is, we have to turn away from these things because one day God will judge us for these sins. Jesus Christ came into the world as God in human form to die on the cross for all of our sins. Black, white, Jewish, atheist, agnostic, uh, African, Ukrainian, Russian, Jesus Christ sees all of us uh, as created in his image and he died for us as one man one time one sacrifice and it's not about religion it's not about following a certain denomination or a church it's about having a personal relationship with jesus christ and so whether you're a trump supporter going to the rally whether you're a counter protester whoever you are i want to invite you to have to make jesus christ your lord and savior because it doesn't matter whether uh, you support a certain political candidate. It doesn't even matter if America is saved for another four years or hopefully more than that. It what matters. It does matter because America is very important to the world and to all of us. But the thing is, is that America is not going to give you eternal life. Jesus Christ gives us eternal life. Jesus Christ is the one who inspired the creation of this nation. And so the only way that we can bless God is to turn back to the Messiah that created us and gave us this nation. So the problem with humanity is that we have all turned away from, from God. We have all forgotten about Jesus. And we need to repent and turn to Jesus Christ. We need to turn to Jesus. Make sure that if you die today, you would go to heaven. Heaven is not about being a good person. It's not about being religious. It's not about doing, it's not about being a good person at all because the Bible says that no one is good, no, not one. Romans 3.23 says that, 
also is that everybody has sinned. Everybody has sinned. And so, no, amen. Everybody has broken God's law, the Ten Commandments. Whether you're Jew or atheist, if you've lied, you're a liar. If you're a thief, if you've ever stolen, you're a thief. If you blaspheme God's name, you're a blasphemer. If you looked up pornography, you're an adulterer. So all of us, if we have done any of those things, and I know that all of us have lied even one time, we cannot go to heaven. We are separated from God by our sins, and we need a, a, a bridge to get us back to God. And so because God is holy and He's perfect, He actually bridged that gap because man in his infinite, uh, infinite his finite wisdom cannot get back to God in our own uh, doings because all of our good works are like filthy rags. The Bible says there's a lot of Jewish people here in the Old Testament. In Isaiah, it says that all of our, all of our deeds are like filthy rags. What that means in Hebrew, it's like menstrual pads that a woman has. That's what our filthy, uh, that's what our deeds are. They're like menstrual pads to God because if we try to bribe God by doing good works, but we can't bribe God by being good enough. There is no amount of um, uh, working at a, a food thing, you know, to give food to the, to the poor or anything else that you can do to earn God's favor. Now, those things are good. You should help the poor. Uh, I help the poor. We should help the weak. But helping others is not going to get you to heaven. We have to repent of our sin and put our faith in Christ because 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 God requires perfection and because none of us are perfect none of us can actually earn uh, salvation so God had to himself show us that he was a salvation God bless you it's for you it's a million dollars God had to sh be our salvation that's why 700 years before Christ uh, there was prophecy about Jesus that was written about in Isaiah chapter 53, Isaiah chapter 7, Isaiah chapter 9, Psalm 2, Psalm 22, Psalm 23. All of these were prophecies that were written in the Old Testament about the Messiah that would come one day and save his people Israel and the rest of the world. And so this Messiah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christos, he is the only savior of America. He's the only savior of this whole world because the world is run by the devil. The world system is run by Lucifer, who is a fallen angel, who actually wanted to be like God. He wanted to be... So Satan wanted to be like God, but God threw him out of heaven and threw him into a different realm. And, and he ended up here on earth. He cackled, that's how we know, because he had a weird and, laugh. And so Satan, Satan runs the whole world system here in America. He runs every single country in the world. Satan runs the financial system. Satan runs Hollywood. Satan runs the music industry. And so because of what Satan has I done... I can't get over the laugh thing. Because like that's your, that's your criticism of Kamala Harris that she's a witch because, because of how because, she laughs. Because Satan has corrupted uh, the whole world. Every The Bible says that everybody is living under the power of the devil. And so because we're all under the power of the devil, we have to get rescued by God because Satan is too smart. Uh, we're, we're too dumb for Satan. The Satan is too smart for us. As a fallen angel, this angel is the one that the whole financial system, the bankers serve. It's what all the evil people in the deep state, they serve the devil. Uh, 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 a lot of people are in the occult in order to gain power, wealth, and prestige. That's why America has fallen so hard from the nation that we were created to be in 1787, 1791, when the Constitution, the Bill of Rights was penned. We have fallen so far from the original intent of our founding fathers because we have forgotten God. Founding father Patrick Henry said that when people forget God, tyrants forge their chains. So what do we have today? We have tyranny in America. I'm not talking about just Donald, uh, Joe Biden or Kamala Harris. I'm talking about tyranny of the mind, where people's minds have become so broken and so messed up that people would rather do pornography on OnlyFans and sell their bodies in order to make money because the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Satan has corrupted America so much 
that we believe that men can be women and women can be men. What kind of ridiculous stupidity is that? To, to say that a man can change his DNA and become a woman. That's just dumb and stupid and mental illness because that's what Satan wants us to believe. And I love everybody who's transgender and gay. I love you guys. But the thing is, is that that is a perversion of God's sexuality. God meant for sexuality between one man, one woman for life. And abortion is murder. Abortion at every stage of life is murder because when the sperm and the egg meet, there is a, a flash of light that is produced. That is a scientific article that I read actually that scientists have found there's a flash of light that's produced very fast when, a, when an egg and a sperm meet together. Meaning that, that there's a new life being formed. And there's in every uh, little baby that's in the womb, every little fetus, embryo, zygote, it's a new DNA. And then, no, it's, it's a new DNA that's formed. So for everybody who says, my body, my choice, that's a false dichotomy. It's a false dichotomy because it, because if God, it, if God created you, then it's not your body. And if that body inside your body is not your body, then it's not your choice to kill it. You are, if you are a parent, you have to give birth to that, to that human being. So that's why we all need to come back to Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't seem like you're a Christian. <laughs> but anyway, so I so I think so the thing is is that you know we all have sin against God as individuals. God bless you. This is for you, we make this. Yeah. We all sin against God as individuals and as Americans and we all need to repent and come back to Jesus Christ because he's hope for our nation. He's the only hope for uh, going to heaven because all of us have a soul and one day we, our soul will either go to heaven or to hell. And so for those who say you're an atheist, there's no such thing, nothing happens after you die. Well, you're very wrong because there have been thousands of near-death experiences that have been documented that show that there is a soul that exists outside of our body. And when we die, our soul will go to be with God or be sent to hell in a prison system that that's God created for everybody who rebelled against God so I don't want anybody to go to hell and unfortunately is that most of America has rejected God you know I used to be uh, I rejected God when I was young but God had mercy on my soul and I heard the gospel and I responded to Jesus and I gave my life to him and so I am not saved because I'm some good person or I'm doing this today I'm saved because Jesus Christ had mercy on my life and he's redeemed me for my sin and so and so what I want to tell you guys is that the only way that you can have true peace true joy true hope true salvation true forgiveness and have peace in your heart is through the Lord Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach the real God who created you who created all of us and who wants to rescue us from our sins Jesus Christ is the one who actually said I am the way the truth and the life in John 14 6 in the Bible that's inspired this nation being created it says that Jesus said that I am the resurrection and the life that he who believes in me will pass from death to life and so the question is have you believed in Jesus Christ have you passed from death to life so amen so for those who have God bless you guys you guys are awesome continue living for the Lord for Jesus spreading the gospel yeah he does love you make sure you give your life to him so the thing is is that we all need forgiveness we all need the Savior Jesus Christ we all are created with uh, with uh, a soul that does desires to be connected to our Creator. But the problem is that all of us seek after idols. We seek after things like money and fame and prestige and uh, you know even having a really good job with, lo with lots of money which we think is going to satisfy us. Well let me tell you that none of that stuff will truly satisfy the ache that you have in your soul which is to be connected to the higher source which is God Himself because God put that ache in your heart to be connected to Him. And the only way you can be connected to God is through Jesus Christ who was the only begotten Son of God who was God in human form 
which is why uh, he's called the son of God because as God became a man he limited himself and so God limited himself and put himself in a body like us so that he could relate to us and so Jesus Christ actually lived a life that we all lived. He suffered. He died. He was betrayed by his best friend. He was uh, put on the cross. He was unjustly uh, crucified by the Romans. But at the same time, three days later, Jesus Christ rose again from the grave and he defeated death. So that if you believe in Jesus and his historical resurrection, you will be saved from all of your sins. You, your old person will, will leave and a new person will come in. And so God today wants to baptize you, not in water, but he wants to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God that wants to come in and wants to change your heart from the inside out. Amen? Amen. So Jesus Christ wants to come in into your heart right now, today, even during the Trump rally, because the most important thing is to have forgiveness of sins. It's not about certain political candidacy. It's about having forgiveness of sins. And so that's what I'm saying is that even though we love, we all love America, there is something more important that we have to love. We have to love God above everything because God hates idolatry. And a lot of times we worship uh, political candidates. We worship other people. We would worship our uh, girlfriends and boyfriends. We worship our spouses. But if we worship people, they will always fail us. People, people will always fail us. So we, the only person that cannot fail you is God himself. So I invite you guys to really turn to Jesus. Did you get one? Okay, God bless. So don't. Uh -huh. uh, what do you mean? Or like, are you supporting him or not? Well, no, it's not about supporting Trump. Like, uh, I'm not against Trump. I, I'm just here to talk to people about Jesus because, you know, even though America was founded upon uh, biblical values, we strayed away. And so all of us need to be uh, come to Jesus Christ to have a personal relationship with him. So it's more important than politics. Are you here with relation to the rally or just because people are here? No, because people are here. I didn't even know there would be a rally. We've been here for two weeks. So we've been preaching the gospel at Washington Square Park. Uh, Times Square every night. So we actually didn't even know that Trump rally would be here. So in a way, God kind of used it, you know, for us to be here. Yeah. yeah but are you a Christian? Yeah. Oh, you're not? Oh, yeah. Well, hey, think about, you know, Jesus. Read the Bible one of these days because it's for you. Oh, you, do you, um, have you ever read the Bible at all? No. Here you go. It's a little gift for you. Yeah. You. It could change your life, man. Thanks. Yeah, God bless you.